Ho, ho, ho. And this show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. Being happy is great. Moments of joy are great. But being whole and complete is the real life goal. Visit betterhelp.com slash outside and get on your journey to find wholeness. And welcome to the introduction for Podcast But Outside, episode 169. Thanks, Andrew. You're welcome. Uh, we are recording this separate from each other because I once again have COVID on the exact one year anniversary of the time I had COVID last year. That's so funny because I'm about to celebrate uh, Christmas this year on the exact same time I did last year. Right. That seems better than the way I chose, the one I chose to do. Uh, you don't know my traditions. Oh. Anyway, I'm fine. Um, I know I've been getting a lot of DMs telling people they're praying for me, and I've, I've been seeing pictures of people in church praying. Oh. Uh, I just want to say I am fine. Uh, I feel less sick than I did last year. I'll be fine in a few days, and this is just what happens when you uh, are awesome. Who do we have this week? This might be our best episode of the year. All the guests were fantastic, and the guest host was also fantastic. It's Noelle Miller. My dog ran into the frame as if he was Noel, actually. Who's Noel Miller? He's from Tiny Meat Gang. He does podcasts. He does stand-up. He makes music and short films. He's a very fantastic, talented guy. And he was such a good fit for our show. I mean, we've been wanting to get him on for years, since before the pandemic, and it just it, our schedules didn't line up. But he finally did it, and it was so fun. It's honestly one of our best episodes ever. So thank you, Noel, for coming by. Go obviously check out his stuff if you're not familiar with him. And he's going to be on tour all next year doing stand-up. Go check him out live. Speaking of... We have some live shows, right, Cole? Uh, yeah. You can see the details on our website on podcastbutoutside.com slash live. But we're going to be in Vancouver, Canada in February. Then in March, we are going to be in New York City, Chicago, and Boston. We're also going to be in Toronto and L.A., but those shows sold out. The other ones are getting close to selling out. Buy your ticket now. Our live show is really good. And then on New Year's Eve, I'll be in Oakland, California. Last plug, doing a really fun New Year's Eve stand-up show with myself, Moshe Cashman, Natasha Legero, Nick Thrun, Brent Weinbach, and Sabrina Jaliz. A lot of past guests of the show. Oh, hey, Cole. Hi. This is our final episode of the year. We need a break. Yeah, we take a break this time of year. We're going to take five weeks off. We're going to be back the final week of January. I think that's January 25th, maybe? Yeah. Is that the date? Uh, I think so. Whatever that Wednesday is. Turns out it's actually January 25th. I was wrong. Ooh. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, I was, I was wrong about other stuff, though. Oh. Those are two separate sentences. Oh, okay. You, usually that's indicated with a pause. We're going to be posting on Patreon every week while we are gone. Support us there. $5 a month. Get access to hundreds of bonus episodes. Helps us make this show. And I, we, I was, we were supposed to record some Patreon stuff this week, uh, but since Andrew's sick, I might be hosting the show alone for a few yeah. episodes. Cole might try to do some solo Patreon episodes, which I'm excited to see what that looks like. And we also got some stuff coming up with Andrew and Cam hosting for an episode that I couldn't be there for. We're mixing things up. We also might have one hosted by Oprah from uh, Oprah's Funniest Home Videos. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone for a fantastic year of Podcast But Outside. We have so much fun making this show, and we really appreciate all of you who consistently watch it and listen to it and recommend it to your friends. The song this week is by Noah Butler. I thought it was Daniel Horton. Who's Noah Butler? I don't know. Where did that come from? Song this week is from Daniel Horton. <gasps> He sent this a year ago as a Christmas theme, but we're using it this year. Thank you, Daniel. Feliz cumple Navidad. Enjoy the episode with Noel Miller, everyone. It's a, it's a great one. Cole, can I come kiss you? Uh, no, 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 no. Please? No, 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 no. I'd like to. I'm all kissed out. No, my, it, my lips are raw from this morning when you kissed me. It would make me feel me. better. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. And welcome. Welcome to podcast. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Podcast But Outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew Michon. I'm one of the hosts of the show. My name is Little Boy Peep. And if you never heard no of No laughing. When he laughs, the camera shakes. Right, he can't laugh. Yeah. I've never had that problem. Um if you've never heard or watched our show before, the whole point of our show is for um, Little, my friend Little and I, 
to set up a table on the sidewalk and interview strangers who happen to be walking by. We have a sign on our table that says, Hi, hey. be a guest on our podcast. We will pay you $1. Smiley, Smiley face. face. We're the only ethical podcast, the only podcast that pays its guests, and the only podcast that exclusively records outside in the outside world and that um, ideally talks to random people. The whole point of the show is just for us to, you know, get some insight into the passing stranger. We've done it for a few years, and we just like to talk to new people every episode about whatever it is they'd like to, to talk to us about. We're in downtown Culver City. We've never recorded in Culver City before. It is... You po- haven't. I have. What did you record here? Episode of the podcast. You weren't there. W- did they get released? Or the for, for No, those are just for me. Okay, well, I've never been here, and we've, and we've never done this particular version of the show Hi. here. Culver City is part of Los Angeles, but it's also kind of its own thing. And um, no laughing. No laughing. It's pretty far from where we live. It's not a part of town that we uh, f with. But our guest, um, he's uh, he 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 does he does business not too far from here. Um, so our guest, our friend Noel Miller, is actually crossing the street right now. If you <laughs> want to get a, a shot of him looking at his phone, look at him. He's on his phone. Oh, what a dweeb! We've never had a guest this far away, and us just be able to film them and just get their every move. What do you think he's looking at? He's his just phone? in the wild. He's just in the wild Maybe right now. Maybe he's googling us. He might be. Goog- yeah, he probably is because he doesn't know anything. I just got his number off a bathroom stall, <laughs> and I was like, "This guy might be good." Hey, Whoa. great to see you. Man, shit. Hello, shit, man. good to see good you. Good to see you. Wow, wow, wow. I, I love that we just roll into it. Yeah, yeah. we just roll into it. This feels great. We saw you crossing the street. What were you looking at on your phone? Um, I was watching a YouTube video. I'm gonna upload. You go out and watch your own stuff as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, cool. outside too. Like you just kind of yeah. water out and watch your stuff. Can't get enough of me. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's cool. need more me. Yeah. Hey, I hear you, man. That's as, cool. As much me as possible. It'd be cool if you bumped into someone who was also watching yeah. your, your YouTube videos. Yeah. Oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm reviewing one that you can watch next. So when you're yeah. done with that one, I'll yeah. send you this yeah. one. Have um, you ever? Have you ever been? Um, have you ever seen someone watching your videos in public? No. Have no. you guys? Uh, no, but I was the other day. Um, I was in line at, in Santa Cruz. I went to visit family. Okay. This was just like five days ago. And I was in line and I was ordering something at a restaurant. Yeah. And then like I saw this group of like girls kind of staring at me a lot. Okay. And then I, I like looked at their, like they were like all looking at their phones and they all had searched podcasts but outside because they were like, is that the guy? Because they wow. recognized my voice or whatever. And it was kind of funny where it was like, I knew that they were kind of looking at me and I saw on their phone, but I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. Um, and anyway, then it eventually came up to me and she took a nice picture with me. It was nice of her. Um, when, when I lived in Chicago, I was on the train and someone wasn't watching like my videos, but th- I saw uh, my, t- they were on Tinder and I saw my profile come up <laughs> and she swiped left. <laughs> Did you go up to her? <laughs> no. I was like over her shoulder because I was standing and she was sitting. Dude. And so I saw, I was like, oh, there's me. And then I was like, oh, left. Oh. How quick was it left? Did she look at any other pictures or just no, the one? No, it was like just one. Just gone. Yeah. Instant. Oh, my God, dude. And, yeah. and left is like no, right? That's a no. Yeah. That's no. Was she, the, was she the type of person you would have swiped right on? Uh, I swipe right on everyone. <laughs> I would have been. Oh man, that would have been great if after immediately she's just like, "No," you're like, "Why not?" <laughs> yeah, it's just in her ear. <laughs> that is really fucking funny. <coughs> well, thanks for having me, guys. Thank you yeah. for doing this. Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. You just got married. Yes, I did. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah. And you didn't have to swipe on her once. No. You met in real life. We did. Whoa, IRL. IRL, dude. Wow. We did it old school. That's so sweet. Congratulations. You had an intimate wedding in Italy. We did. Was it White Lotus style? Um. In what way? That we're going to kill someone? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone, you, someone dies. We someone let them died. know. Someone will die at the end of this. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's just how the wedding is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at the end, it will end with a death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you tease it at the beginning a yeah. little bit. Yeah. yeah. You show, we show the you weapon. show a weapon in a body. <laughs> yeah. Someone, someone will go in this casket. Wow. Yeah. Had you guys been to Italy before together? We had with friends. Mm. Um, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, we, we kind of... We like bounced around ideas, but when we look at like wedding costs and shit, you know, not that this is interesting at all, but weddings are so expensive out here. We just mm-hmm. kind of did the numbers and we we're like, dude, for this money, we just go somewhere else. Right. Have a fun. Yeah. yeah. And then also because it's more intimate, it's probably, it all averages out to being like yeah. not more expensive to have a fun trip or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. You so don't have to buy food for 200 people or whatever. Basically. Yeah. We just got to take vacation for a week with like, you know, 
you know, the, the, the parents and cool. It like looked beautiful. All the pictures were awesome. Thanks, and dude. This is Noel Miller, by the way. I don't know if we yes. said your name. Yeah, yeah. I think we said it as you were walking up and oh, looking at fine. watching your videos. Either way, I'm I'm here. So it's a holiday themed episode. This is you know around the Christmas time. Do you hate y- your name around this time of the year? It doesn't bother. Doesn't me. bother you? Not at all. What about my name? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate his name right now? No, I I love your name. You're okay. around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but my name is also Christmas. Really? Cole. Oh, you're right. Cole in the stocking. Yeah. If people are naughty, they get a little coal shoved inside their tight little stocking while they Ooh. sleep. Not if they swipe left on you on the train. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they're still going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're still going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Do you celebrate holidays? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, all of them. Oh, you do all of them. I like that. All of them, man. Yeah, I you hear know, that. I'm just a big fat big fat slut for capitalism. Oh, man. hey. All those holiday drinks. and. Oh, you do the drinks? Yeah. Like well, boba? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool. Bob with the Christmas drink. <laughs> Christmas drink. <laughs> yeah, I like to fill my body with tapioca. And <laughs> yeah, see if I survive. Yeah. yeah, if you want a boba, that is available to you. By the way, wait, it really? Is? How yeah. does he, yeah? Wait, they came out and what they say? You thought well, I thought boba guy was gonna kick us out, but he goes, "Oh, I love the show. If you want boba, let me know." Dude, Dude that'd be cool. So that is, we can I can place an order for you if you need it. I do oh. want boba. Okay, we'll get it going at some point. Uh, this person was patiently waiting and saw us setting up. So, um, excuse me, future guest, it's your turn. Come have a seat. Hop on. Hop on. And you can wear this if you want. I'd love to, man. (laughs) If you want. Yeah, wherever you'd like. Yeah, sit wherever you're most comfortable. Hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Tori. Tori. Hi, Tori. Where were you walking to? Where were you headed? Uh, I was on lunch break, so I was getting lunch, and I was like, I didn't bike to work today, so I better walk somewhere. Mm. I saw your guys' hat, and I was like, that's a cool hat. And I said, it's the podcast. What the heck is in that lunch bag of yours? Um, I got some salmon for lunch. Salmon. I can wait till later to eat. That's okay. Mm. <laughs> got it. I had salmon for lunch yesterday. Ooh. So we're kind of the same. Um, do you <laughs> wait? So okay, where do you work? Uh, I just work like down the street. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So do you enjoy whatever your job is? Yeah, I do video game stuff. So Whoa. Yeah, oh, what kind cool. of stuff? Like um, I do rigging, so it's like you put the bones inside the character, Whoa, so that that's my fun. animator friend can animate it. So Whoa. that's cool. Whoa. You never see what I do, but it's still pretty fun. That's so, so there, cool. wait, so there are like, bones in there? Yeah, like you don't see them obviously, but it's like you know when you have like a puppet, uh-huh. and they have little bones in there, or like little like pipe cleaners and stuff you can use to move for the joints. Yeah, it's yeah. like that, but for like computer stuff. So oh. like, I- is that for visual or is that for the like mechanics of how they move? It's like if you made like a clay sculpture, right? Like uh-huh. you couldn't like, move it because it would just you know snap or something. Uh-huh. It's kind of the same for computers where you make your little character. But you can't actually move it until you put like bones and stuff in it. Whoa! Yeah. Is rigging more done? Is it done more in code, or is it like a like an Unreal Engine thing? Right. Like it's like uh, you like I use Autodesk Maya to oh, use okay. uh, bones us and too. stuff, but people yeah. use like Blender and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, us uh, too. <laughs> you could use code, but I'm not very good at coding. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying. Yeah. So has your dream always been to be the bone person? Uh, no, it was like a thing I learned in school and then no one else did it. So mm. I was like, well, if I'm okay at it, then I'll, I'll get a job. Have you ever put <laughs> like, have you ever put like the wrong bone? Like oh, yeah. where it's too long no, and no, it like messes like things up? You, you put in a bone and then you're like, I wonder how this looks. And you move it and it just goes whoop. So oh. sometimes you'll be working on a character and they're Is that the penis going <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> I've gotten some emails where they're like, you want to rig this not safe for work thing for me? And I'm like, nah, I'm okay. Oh, Thank you though. <laughs> damn it. Okay. Like we have a bone that needs to get bigger <laughs> yeah. when it's around certain <laughs> things. Okay. Huh. And do you like your you like your work as you said? Yeah, I only been working in the industry for like a year for video mm. game stuff, so okay. it's been pretty fun. It's like <laughs> were you rigging real bones before <laughs> that? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I wish. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I was just like I, I used to do them analog, <laughs> now do them digital. You know, <laughs> just glue them together. Yeah, good yeah. Enough. No, it's like I didn't even like think it was a job. Like video game stuff, like you just don't think about it, I guess. And then yeah. it's like, oh, that is a job I can do. Potentially. Mm-hmm. Would you consider yourself an artist? Yeah, like I do like. Uh, you know, sculpting and like digital art stuff, and it was just that rigging I found later on, and I was like, oh, I like puzzles and stuff, so it kind of like scratches the itch of that, mm. I suppose. So does every character have different bones, like individually? Sometimes you can use the same ones. So like World of Warcraft and mm-hmm. stuff, they have like you know, you can see it where their animations are the same between two different mounts or something like that. So huh. they they share the same rig. So 
which is kind of complicated for when you want to make something new and then you're like, ah, oh, yes, mm. I just have to I don't fit it on there. I don't <laughs> love the idea of calling my skeleton my rig. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weirds me out a yeah. little bit. <laughs> That's dystopian as hell. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. When it's I was looking for jobs, it was like rigging jobs and it was all construction stuff. And I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Are, are you trying to achieve a certain goal uh, within your job? Like, are you trying to do something else or land in a place that you want to be at? Insert the biggest bone. Yeah. <laughs> she wants the to rig biggest. the biggest, <laughs> giganticest bones. I'm famous for this big bone. Yeah. <laughs> no, not necessarily. It's just like, you know, getting better at it because it's just such a big like thing to learn I suppose mm-hmm. I, I feel like every time someone's like can you make it do this I'm like uh huh furious googling <laughs> like, I don't know how to do that but I'll figure it out wow. yeah so it's it's like I, I would like to be at the point where I can just be like yeah I know how to do that mm. so you don't have to get too specific well, well, what type of games do you work on um I cl- work closely with like Pokemon Go oh okay oh, cool. yeah so there you go so that oh, kind of stuff cool. have you ended up playing games that you've worked on uh, not yet, but I've met a lot of people where they're like, yeah, I worked on this. I'm like, Whoa. I want that. I want. <laughs> that's cool. And they're like, yeah, it's just a thing I did. And I was like, that's so cool, though. Wow. But uh, there's There's been some stuff in the media about video game industry being very grueling hours yeah. wise. Is that accurate? Where I work, it's pretty nice. Like, it's pretty flexible. Uh, and I worry that if I go to somewhere else, I won't have that. And I'll be like, no. But mm. yeah, I've had some uh, friends and stuff where they're like, uh, you know, like, th- there's no like job security sometimes so like one day like for uh the telltale stuff if you ever look at familiar, that yeah yeah they just were like you don't have a job today i'm like oh no well, <laughs> so i like wow. maybe shouldn't think about that a lot but I, I think about that a lot where it's like it could happen turns so. out those jobs were a tale all along yes, yeah they told that tale. <laughs> so wha- yeah what is it about video games that make is it because they have like a deadline and it's just a lot of man hours like why is it that that industry is like you got to work all night and whatever i i guess so but the projects i've been working on are like r d so it's kind of like it's just maybe this will be a game in a month so i've been moving around to different projects and stuff so mm. uh and the friends that i have are also in the same space so i'm not exactly sure okay <laughs> so but i assume Damn. it's just they have a deadline and they have to make it and what's they, that? that's just how it goes yeah what's r&d in games like hey can we make a game about a goat and just <laughs> pretty like, much you rig up yeah. a goat and like, <laughs> it's just like we want to make this cool thing I'm, I'm sure there's more stuff to it like oh the market needs this or yeah, like yeah, we can yeah, do yeah. that we'll be the only one but mm. i guess it's just like we want to make this kind of game and you test it and you're like this is fun yeah we'll go for it oh, so huh. yeah so it's been pretty fun um what are your hobbies outside of bones outside of bones <laughs> um i like dinosaurs a lot so Interesting. Like yeah, I mean, those kind of have a lot of bones. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, I never thought about that. I guess it kind of fits. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of found the thing with the most bones, and yeah. that's your hobby. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, so what do you do uh, regarding dinosaurs in terms of hobbies? I I do the. 3D modeling of dinosaurs, so oh. it all kind of like works together. Sounds like your job. Yeah, what you know, yeah. it's like taking you know, your work home with you. <laughs> I, I'm just like I sit at the computer for work, and I'm like done with work, close the tab. Now I'm relaxing, still at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> now bigger bones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but yeah, it's just like you know baking. Maybe I got better at over at quarantine stuff, and then. Mm. Uh, like I'm making a bunch of Christmas cookies for oh, holiday okay. stuff, so that's exciting. No right. bones dinosaur in there. shaped? No, no. Oh, yes, actually. Yeah. I have some dinosaur cookie cutters. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put little sweaters on them. Oh. Send them to people. <laughs> so I had a funny bone-related story that happened a couple months ago. I was with Cam actually. We were at a friend's birthday party. It was deep in the valley, and I ordered vegan lunch from this vegan restaurant that I'd never been to. It was a Caribbean vegan restaurant or something, and I got what they called like little chicken wings. And they had fake bones in the middle. What? Which I thought was weird. It was like, we don't need this. <laughs> Wait, what What was it made of? It was like some sort of like vegetable that was impossible to chew. <laughs> like What's was, the point of that? I don't know. It was so weird. <laughs> the aesthetic. It was like, I, I would say it was like if you took like jicama and like condensed it and dried it and made it like truly you couldn't <laughs> chew it or digest it. That's what it was. It was pretty That's weird. crazy. I don't think I liked it. You were like, I... I chose this to get away from me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I also bit into it, like, you know, n- thinking it didn't have a bone because oh, really? I, it's, well, you know, and there was a bone. It was so, it's just such a bizarre experience. So, so was that you that did that? Or yeah, yeah, Tori <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. No, and that it's brings me to the next question, which is, have you guys heard about this lab-grown meat stuff? Yeah. Yes. Have you yeah. talked about it? What do, what do you think? Would you, would you guys do that? I'd do that? it, yeah. I 
think so. I feel like there's probably some stuff where it's like, ah, oh, after a certain amount of years, like there's something wrong. But I'd give it a shot for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for the listeners, this is our our fire guy. Yeah, not it's yours. not yours. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know, they're basically growing meat in a lab where they take cells from animals and they 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 discovered they could do it because of science. They were like growing like science stuff like you know yeah. liver or organs or whatever yeah. for like transplanting and then they're like oh why don't we just do this for meat like some guy wanted yeah. to do it but with this science that you could do that with humans exactly and eat humans exactly would you do that yeah would you do that yes you would try yeah. it i mean if i can e- ethically taste a human yeah why not yeah if you're just growing like bob from a dish is he even <laughs> really you know a person right, right. at that point no Right. It's just meat. Would you? Would you try a human? I don't know. We need Tori to rig them up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd just be, be soft and that'd jelly. That'd be worse, I feel like. I feel yeah. I'd be less likely to eat at that point. <laughs> Dang. Maybe I would, but I feel like there'd have to be, like, some ethical question. Here, here's a deeper it, question. <laughs> would you Would you eat yourself? Would you eat cells based on your DNA? Yeah. You would eat your own meat? Yeah. Huh. Yeah? I especially. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my fucking IV. <laughs> you yeah. made the choice. Yeah. You're just like, all right, sure. Yeah. All right. Hey, I would try it. I mean, I would start eating meat if the, if it was in a if it was grown in a lab and there was no ethical quandaries. Well, Tori, do you have any final thoughts or words of wisdom you want to leave us with before you head out to eat your salmon? Is it cooked salmon or just like raw salmon? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna eat it raw. Just like a raw thing of salmon. <laughs> no, it's a cooked salmon from like down the street. So okay. yeah. Mm. Tender greens. Uh, yeah. Yummy. I know it. Mm. Yummy stuff. I go there all the time. But so do uh, we. That's kind of it. That's all I got. I got to talk about dinosaurs and say hi. So that's yeah. all I really want to do ever. That's perfect. <laughs> so that's that's great. great. That's it. That is wow. pretty good, Tori. I'm, I'm finding your dollar so we can pay you a dollar and give you a sticker. Oh shoot. Wait, yeah. so I'm, I'm assuming if you could time travel to any point in time, it would be to when dinosaurs existed. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. If you don't know about dinosaurs too much, they know like the colors of some dinosaurs now. Really? Mm. Yeah. It's super cool. You should go look it up sometime. Ooh, if okay. you ever get the chance to just What's be, the like, most surprising color that you mm. found that something was? There was like a... Um, uh, just a Mexican one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember oh, the that name kind of it. Of but like oh, interesting. Like their race. Yeah. They're <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they had races. Yeah, well. yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was more of like a cultural thing. No, no, no. No, it's a biologic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Cool. So there'd be like Mexican pterodactyl yeah, exactly. and like a, sp- and like yeah. a oh. Japanese one. Yeah. They're, they're all over, dude. <laughs> and they're totally different. <laughs> <laughs> That's but cool. There's a club dinosaur, you know, and it's like completely red. And I thought that was super Whoa. cool. Yeah. That's wild. There was like a mummy that they discovered recently like it ooh. was like ooh, and it, i don't know wait a club dinosaur you said like you know it's the um ankylosaur dinosaur where like it, has it a big goes to ibiza a lot and stuff maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i get that man hey but i yeah. thought it was really i love cool. it there cool <laughs> That's so cool. I'm like, I'm 50, so I'm often called the club dinosaur because I go to a visa <laughs> and I party with yeah, the young dude. guys, so I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, and is it true that most dinosaurs had feathers, like the T Rex type? Yeah, guys? it's pretty much uh, established that like theropods and stuff like T Rex and like raptor and stuff had feathers, but like it's kind of contentious in its own way. So mm. it's like it changes every other year, mm-hmm. so it's just, you know, maybe a smaller raptor, yes, but like T Rex, it's kind of up in the air. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, who knows? Huh. But I'll it's re- cool to think about. All red dino, I'm going to fall asleep dreaming of that <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool Clifford the big red dinosaur yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought that was cool I was like you never see just someone making an art of a dinosaur and it's just red so yeah. like, right. that's, that's so cool, cool. Huh. yeah alright well. Tori rock anyway. on enjoy yeah. your lunch enjoy your work thanks for saying hi cool yeah, thanks, thanks for having me it was thanks so nice seeing you guys thanks for your great patience. talking to you yeah. Yeah. keep doing what you're doing thank you thank you too you too we'll try see you Tori I can't believe Clifford the big red Mexican dinosaur is is a real thing. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. were doubting this whole time. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I always knew that he had to be out there. Yeah, he's Latino, for yeah, sure. For sure. <laughs> 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 Archaeologists uncover first Latino dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that could be great for the Latino community. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, representation matters. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you gotta have dinosaurs. You know? It has a huge ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. So it's like a it's fr- like a race a thing. It's a like bit. a it's a little stereotypical. Okay. Typical. Uh, dinosaur, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's the news headline. <laughs> it's it's all stereotypes proved <laughs> true through dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we found these adjacent um, older divorced conservative dinosaurs <laughs> that, that <laughs> so next to the big booty Latina. <laughs> oh, interesting. Di- so they kind of yeah. they kind of like went that way a yeah. little bit. That's, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but they all died together. Yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> the way it was intended. Well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Christmas Cam. Uh, hey. Do you do you feel healthy? 
Uh, in many ways, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you are you taking anything that makes you feel better or good about yourself? Well, there's one thing in particular I'm taking to be really healthy. Oh yeah, what's that? <laughs> Do you just want me to flat out say it? Maybe. Care of. Oh, our sponsor. Mm-hmm. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. It's the season for celebrating, so take a minute to reflect on all you accomplished this year, no matter whether it was big or small, and size doesn't matter for that goal. Uh, okay. And Care of wants you to s- help celebrate those everyday wins. You take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals for a personalized recommendation, taking the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you. I never knew what I needed, and I didn't want to do the math, so I just took their quiz, mm-hmm. and they come. Oops, sorry. They come in like short little. <laughs> it's a, it's a nice box. It's that a very goes nice great box. Great on your counter, and they just have daily pill pouches for exactly what you need. It says high call. Today's quote, happiness in this world, when it comes, comes incidentally, by Nathan Hawthorne. I love Nathan Hawthorne and all. <laughs> he was a friend huh? of my dad's. Really? Nathan Hawthorne? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm assuming would, it's a different Nathan Hawthorne. No, he would come over for dinner parties and he would always say that. So if you need a more guided path for taking your vitamins and supplements, I recommend care of mm-hmm. for 50 percent off your first care of order go to takecareof.com and enter code outside 50 once again for 50 percent off your first care of order go to takecareof.com and enter code outside 50 thanks care of hello fresh oh fresh hello fresh is our next sponsor for this episode uh, it's the most festive time of the year and hello fresh is here to help make the most out of every moment from holiday and hosting dinners during busy weeknights you can count on hello fresh to delivering fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes are you traveling over the holidays well hello fresh has plans that work for your schedule change your preferences delivery day and address in just a few clicks cam you and i have made so much hello fresh over the years mm-hmm. haven't we yeah and we've had fun every time doing it like you just make me feel really good every time hanging out with you cooking with you it really is a lot of serotonin in my brain yeah and it's not because of me it's because of how delicious and easy the meals are uh-huh. for cooking it's yeah. easy to prep easy to cook they give you everything you need you don't have any extra if you do it's delicious leftovers mm-hmm. yeah you in, in in no particular way make that a uh, memorable experience for me it's 100% the HelloFresh. <laughs> That's what makes it so awesome. Yeah. And you can you can eat HelloFresh with your enemy and you'll have a good time. Not saying we're enemies, of course. Sorry. Yeah, you know, speaking of having food with enemies, my dad would invite uh, this guy Nathan Hawthorne over to cook together. Oh, Nathaniel Fresh. Hawthorne? Yeah. I think he has a quote on um, one of our other sponsors. Yeah. I can't wait to hear it. So if you're looking for delicious food for the holidays or just in general, go to HelloFresh.com slash Outside18 and use code Outside18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Outside18 and use code Outside18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. America's number, number one, one meal kit. Back to the episode. Sorry. Oh, what's that? I got a dog there and a cone. Yeah. That dog like, kind of looks like, like a dog. Dude, it kind of looks like my dog. Really? I want to. Oh yeah, I like your dog, Ollie. Yeah. Is thanks, your dog yeah. cone shaped? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we made him that way. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> just, just the hammer. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. They should breed dogs to where they're just born with the cone. Yeah. Right. That yeah. way you don't have to ever worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen a guy with a cone? No. We should start doing that. That co- that's going to be like a weird sex thing in a couple of years. Yeah. Like some guy with a cone and he's like trying to bite his if like it wound. Isn't already, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, a girl gives him herpes on purpose. And <laughs> he wears the cone and he wants to itch and he's not yeah. allowed. Because you see like dog collars and dog stuff, but I've never seen a cone on a guy. No. Or a girl. No. Damn. Hmm. We gotta get that going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing left in the sex market. I mean, we gotta gotta well, innovate a little bit. I think you also would have to have like cones on your hand. You know, yeah. so that you couldn't grab, like yeah. you just, all your appendages have cones on them. Yeah, yeah. feet too, because some <laughs> guys are flexible. Man. Yeah, you gotta just have cones all over. You might be able to grip it up. You know. Yeah, yeah. So you're traveling a lot on the road doing I stand-up. Am, dude. You're yeah. loving it. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You seem to be going even harder next year. Yes. What prompted that? I just don't feel like when I'm alone at home. Mm making whatever yes i just it feels so contrived for me personally mm. you don't feel like you're connecting to something deeper or no something. i get no. that i mean also you've been doing it a long time i mean yeah. if you're making content all the time i mean you know we do this show and we've done it for a while 
and then we started touring and it's like you just feel like you're connecting with your audience and it just yeah. makes everything feel a little more real yeah definitely and yeah. that's and that's good it gives it a bit of purpose and you're it. great you know you're you're great stand up and oh, the shows thanks, are really man. fun and your fans are really excited to see you so i thanks, mean w- did your wife like i mean i've seen her on the road with you when i've when i've traveled with you a little bit does she like do, doing that lifestyle are you guys having fun or uh, is it sh- no, sh- to be honest dude she is so fine just chilling back and <laughs> okay. not going to fucking okay. you know sure. that's how i am yeah <laughs> i'm andrew's wife yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like traveling <laughs> yeah he doesn't like to travel <laughs> yeah no she's definitely cool just waiting for me to come back instead of going to kansas city okay. for three mm. days but you're going to like what australia and europe this time you're going to some cool she'll, places. she'll pop on for the cool yeah. places yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense all that the midwest sense. stuff yeah she'll skip yeah yeah it's not that she has anything against it, you know, but maybe she'd want to come with us to Arkansas in March. Uh, she, uh, I'll make her. <laughs> do okay, it, yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. We'd yeah. love to have her join yeah. us. Yeah, you, I mean, you did her show, so I think it'd actually be hilarious <laughs> yeah. to I'm make like, her hey, do your show. We do want to have her on the show in general, but I do yeah. think it'd be funny if it was in Arkansas. Oh, <laughs> and we're <dude>. like, look, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Sorry, this is the only time <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, we got an open <laughs> slot. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I'll hit her up. Even, you know? even for a ten-minute segment, just <laughs> force her, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be a brutal trip. I can live stream from the point we're getting. Like I surprise her. I'm like, yeah. hey, guess what? <laughs> There's no direct flights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's what? definitely. Babe, wake up. It's four in the morning. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> what? What the fuck is going on? You got booked. You got booked. <laughs> 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 you go to Arkansas. There's a promoter there. They want you tonight. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go right now. We gotta pack yeah, your we stuff. Yeah, we have to pack it and just just in it. Just, what? Uh, oh oh my god! They're shocked. The shock face. The shock Pure face shock. of a pedestrian. What's up? Have a seat. Have, have a, a seat. seat. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Do you know, um, Nima? Yeah. Nima. I'm his friend. How Are you? you? Same film school. Oh, that's amazing. What's your name? I'm Steven. Hey, Steven. Steven. Put on the headphones. You. Okay. Put these on. Steven's friend of Nima. Yeah, Nima's our director of photography. Oh, He's very good at what he does. I did photos for um, Ralph Castelli a while ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I just see like your content all the time. Damn, he well. does too when he's walking across the street. Oh, right. Yeah. He, he also sees his content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I walk. Yeah, I see my content <laughs> at all hours. All, he sees it a lot. <laughs> no, hey, not, 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 no, 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 no. You'll have some time after. I just, I can't get away. Yeah, it's just not enough me, you know. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, no. This is the part of the show. Okay. You are the opposite of interrupting. Yeah. You are making. We are interrupting your day to make our show. Oh my god. I can't be here for long. I'm on my lunch break. I'm it's so okay. Back. It's all well, good. Love your do. look. And I walked. Wait, sorry. What? We love your look, but yeah. he, oh, asked what, you. he asked, "What do you do?" Oh, I uh, uh, a lot of different things. But uh, first thing is I freelance photography. But then, right here, I work at a motion graphic studio for oh. VFX. So I'm a CG artist and art director there. Wow. Mm. And then I'm also out of breath because I I try to beat my record of walking to um what is it called? Go get him tiger for a coffee. Mm. Oh, nice. There in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you have, a, you have wow. a personal record of walking to a coffee because stuff. like before it was like always eight minutes and i don't like wasting time so i try mm. to like get it down as much as wow. possible dude yeah. okay yeah. just for for context yeah that place is fucking far <laughs> really? so you are mobbing dude yeah i walk at gay speed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go on google maps there's an, another <laughs> yeah. line of destination has a rainbow behind the person oh, got it. And we, it's all, just we all said that before you walked up by the way <laughs> we all said oh he's walking at gay yeah speed. you knew oh, i didn't have to explain that. that yeah yeah, yeah. Well, Oh yeah, that's a gay guy. He's <laughs> moving. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I have my gaydar down yeah. by the walk of speed of your walk. Yeah, something yeah. to do. Mm-hmm. That's well, cool. Get, more gay people should be race car drivers then. Yeah, yeah. speed is one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. People say gay people can't drive, but it's really like the opposite. Oh, yeah. you, you just, just need too to get fast. There. Yeah. yeah. What do you think gay people are rushing to more than straight people? Oh, it's all about escape. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is it? like being in public is like not great. Got it. Really? Yeah. So everything is get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Because as a gay person, like you learn to make your part. I'm just like saying stupid no, we things want right it. now. We want no, it. but I think, I think like as a gay person, you don't like to um, deal with like things that don't matter because like mm. you have your priorities straight on like survival. Like your friends matter the most. Like you don't have time to like you know get distracted by random street things got it uh, like yeah. but you got distracted by us yeah because i love you we're guys. gay bait we're yeah. gay bait. oh my god yeah. you guys yeah. yeah yeah i love this jacket by the way thank I you that was like, the gay bait right there oh my god uh-huh. and you guys are ready for the holidays already yeah, yes, yeah. We are. what yeah. are you doing for the holidays i don't know i'm going back home to irvine Ooh, fun yeah. irvine not really no i know that's no. yeah being yeah slash s yeah i'd rather stay here and just hang out take photos Ooh, are you celebrating with loved ones fifth family fifth family yeah but both of my housemates are going back to their 
home country, so I will be alone at the apartment. So that's why I should probably just go back to my family. Others I'll just be alone. (sighs) Yeah, might as well, I guess. Where are your housemates from? Um, one of them is from Thailand. One of them is from Taiwan. Oh, you got an international house. That's kind of yeah. cool. Do you like that? I love it. I mean, yeah. we're all Taiwanese, so we all relate to each other in, cool. in a very like strong cultural way. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Know. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever travel to Taiwan? I've been there four times, huh. and I love it. All my relatives live there, except for like a few, like my mom's siblings and like grandpa. But every time I go back, we have a bunch of relatives in a bunch of different countries, so we just like go everywhere. Um, we always have a place to stay there. Super fun. Ooh, What's your yeah. favorite Taiwanese dish? Ooh, you know, there's a lot, but um, there's a Dua Teng Mi Suan, which is pig intestine noodles, but it's a specific type of noodle Mi Suan, which is like very, very thin noodle. Got it. And um, I'm obsessed with it. Mm. And sometimes it can be oysters too. Yeah. Ooh. Well, if we ever come across. Yeah, I'll yeah. have to DM it to you. Yes. <laughs> and you guys have to try it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, do you like your job? I love it there. I love... I'm going to tell them to listen to this later when it comes out. But um, I love working for this company. I've only worked for for one year. Mm-hmm. And I was not planning on working at a company at all because I was like freelance all the way. But then, you know... People, they changed the trajectory of my life, and now I live. Now, now, now I live there. Now I work there, and I. Sounds <laughs> um, bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, they chain me up. They don't let me leave. That's why I have to run very fast. I have five minutes. Yeah. To get <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, sincerely, like I have so much fun there, and I was just telling one of them yesterday how. Um, Working there doesn't feel really like work to me. I know that's like a cliche. Like, oh, it doesn't really like work. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's sincerely because my favorite thing ever is to work at a coffee shop. So because there's other people around, mm-hmm. I have a drink in hand and I'm working on the computer. And then mm-hmm. I realize working there is like literally no different. Except yeah. all of them are working on the same thing. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it just feels, you know, very at home. Mm-hmm. We're always trying to like push the boundaries of like what we want to do next. And like, I don't know. So. And, and with your personal photographs, what do you take photographs of? I do fashion and commercial. Oh my god! Wait, no. I literally DM'd you guys. You did? Yeah. Oh, recently. About the photos. I think I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, someone DM'd us recently, and their photos are really cool, and we're like, "Yeah, let's make it happen." That was you. It's Stephen O'Clock. Okay, oh. great. Yeah, I forgot that I DM'd you guys. Yeah, I, I saw. It's like email. a month ago or something, right? Yeah. Because yeah, I had a lot of ideas. I was like, I. It would be really fun to do like Ooh. a shoot. Steven, you're out yeah. here networking, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Making it work. He's oh doing he's making this coffee break last. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah everyone go get go get him tiger. I just got the iced matcha. I drank there yesterday. So but good. in Los Feliz. I have to go back and I'm sorry I didn't ask you guys any questions. You don't have no. to ask us questions. Okay. Where'd you get those glasses? To. From Bonnie and Clyde. Really? And they sent it to me because I was like, I'm Taiwanese. You, you would wear those, right? Oh he would wear those in an instant. Take He'll take them. Take Do them. you know crap I wear? You would love, yeah. Yeah, those are totally um, his. Steven style. is styling us too. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, he's the, doing it all. He's just doing it all. The man. owner is Taiwanese, and so I DM. No, the I'm person. not interested. No, yeah, we have a racist no. doing this podcast. <laughs> <Strong Let's> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please delete everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steven. Okay, goodbye. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you guys. Here. No. <laughs> and homophobic. Headphones. Okay. Gay people are fast. He was about to leave with the headset. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you. Have a good day. See ya. Let's give us your best gay walk out of here. Oh, I will show you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we We're going to get a up close and first. Okay. He's going to do an amazing gay walk here. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh. Wow. Serving. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. There he goes. Steven. Steven. Off. What a great guy. S- slaying during this Christmas season. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. I could see why your friend Nima is friends with him. Steven's yeah. cool. Yeah, Steven's Straight a cool guy. Cool guy. One of the coolest guys we talked to. Wow. Um, what's the best gift you've ever received? Huh. Some head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Y- you're welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got me a little coal. Uh, I was wondering if you do had met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've we we met. met. We've met. met. Yeah. Yes, met. Yeah, we've, we've given some gifts. Yeah. Me and Cole. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's cool. That's an interesting question, Cole. Huh. Yeah, what is, what is the best gift? I don't know. What's the best gift you've ever gotten? I don't Andrew? know. I mean, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Cole? Hmm. What's one that's memorable for you? Yeah. Besides my sloppy top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was sloppy. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I guess. I don't know. I really. I, I guess like <gasps> very personal gifts. Like one time Cam and Andrew got me a uh, a painting of my cat. That's cute. Mm. And then 
another one, I guess I hate saying this, but it's true, uh, that a brand made a stuffed animal out of a character I created. Oh, uh, right. I uh, mean, come on. Fuck ass. Yeah. Uh, and it was, Dude. it was Louisville Vegan Jerky. They they just sent it Yeah, just because they wanted to. It was the kindest thing, and it was the coolest, most unique thing. No, I think no, I've that's received. cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's I now sad. know the answer for me. My friends and I used to have this elaborate gift-giving thing every year. We'd play board games a lot together, and every year we'd we'd every for everyone's birthday we would do elaborate gifts the first gift was we we took our friend to an escape room and he didn't know where we were we like blindfolded him and we and he didn't know what we were going to do and it was the first time he'd done an escape room we had him sign the waiver blindfolded <laughs> and, then and then we di- under the blindfold we're like we're in an escape room let's do it and that was really exciting then oh, for I thought you just left him in there <laughs> <laughs> and then for another friend's one this was so cool we did the same thing where we took him to an escape room but it was an escape room that we built in my garage oh that's kind of fun and so we all met at my house and then we blindfolded him. We drove 45 minutes round trip through the valley back oh to my, my house. God. Fucking <laughs> God, <laughs> and then blindfolded. Oh and my then, God. And then we're in my garage and we're like, okay, we're in an escape room. It's a little low rent, but whatever. We're going to do it. And then we and then we created the escape room and we knew all the answers, but uh-huh. we just kind of let him solve it or For whatever. Sure. And then at the end, like my garage door opened and uh, like his girlfriend was out there and he was like in my yard. And he's like, wait, where are we? Like, how did we, <laughs> we drove for an hour? Yeah. And then another gift we gave Brent Weinbach, past guest, the podcast friend of ours. He um, he was really into playing this game Limbo. Yeah. And I think I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a popular <laughs> game. It's a popular game. And a f- one of the friends in this friend group is like a game designer. Yeah. And he built a version of Limbo based on Brent's life. And he oh. put that. It was crazy. He put that on the f- my friend's computer because he would only play Limbo at my friend's house. So he opened the little thing that said Limbo, and it was actually this custom game built for him. Whoa. That's it was that's crazy. Right. It was yeah. really crazy. Anyway, so for me, uh, we went to a board game cafe in Glendale, and we were playing board games. And we're like, "Oh, let's play this game." And they pulled the game from the shelf, and it was a custom game that they had designed for me based on my life. That's insane. Yeah, and all the cards were like inside jokes of ours, and Whoa. it was really crazy. I'm gonna yeah. show this to. Uh, what you said about this custom stuffed animal and this custom yeah. game, I'll show this to my wife and be yeah. like, you're not working hard enough. <laughs> yeah, because I think the best gifts are gifts that you could never... How are you? You want to say hi? No? Okay. Hop on? All right. Yeah. You want to hop yeah. on? Yeah, li- ditch your friends. <laughs> it's all right. They'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. Come have a Hello. seat. Hello. Here, take this. Hi. What's your name? Hi. My name is Jacob. 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 Hi, Jacob. I love your look. Thank you. Very cool. I like y'all's looks. Thank, Thank you. you. Jacket. Santa hat. What yeah. are you up to? Uh, just getting lunch with my colleagues. Not Ooh. anymore. <laughs> no, yeah. oh, is, this, is this a commitment? <laughs> give, yeah. us, give, us, give us a couple minutes. Put on the okay. headphones. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you think about Jewish people? <laughs> <laughs> I love Jewish people. Oh, my God. I felt loud. Okay. One's got to go. Jewish people, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, you're white, so this yeah. is a scary question. <laughs> yeah. And if, as he goes, so does all his music. So you got to put in. But as the Jewish people go, so do all their contributions to culture. Oh. It's a tough one. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Kanye. <laughs> he's got to go. Oh, he's got to go? Or? Yeah, he's got to go. I like it. Yeah, I like yeah. It. I like it. Okay, uh, where do you work? Where are you taking it? <laughs> <laughs> <where are you laughs> uh, well, I'm uh, second person to look at us and trip on the thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaotic here. Wait, where are you coming from work? What are you working at? Uh, I'm an intern at a production company over there, so super top secret mm. film stuff. Mm. Mm. Marvel. Yeah, you got it. Mar- <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do like the lowest rung at the company, ditching the group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was smart, that man. Was smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> hey, I'm about to stop being an intern. If anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd be working for this podcast, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need like a fourth host? Like, I feel like yeah. this is a pretty good sit- setup. He, he's here. just a guest host. I'm just chilling, um, man. They're just my boys. <laughs> but, you know, uh, okay, so what, what do you want to do long term? You want to work for uh, in production? Um, I mean, I don't know if this is interesting content for y'all. No, it's <laughs> oh, it is. This but, is our show. Uh, I mean, I'd really like to be a writer. Oh, cool. But mm. I, you know, I moved out here and everyone and their mom wants to be a writer. So yeah. I'm like, it's tough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What yeah. type of stuff are you interested in writing? Uh, honestly, I really like um, genre stuff, like, mm. you know, fantasy, sci-fi. But I feel like so much of that is like lacking heart or like action mm. movies. So mm. I want to I want to do like big movies like that, but with actual heart and meaning. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, sorry that wasn't funny <laughs> no. oh he's genuine Ew. <laughs> Boo. what type Gross. of meaning like what type of heart i don't know like what 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 motivates you um like, like what's a film that you feel yeah what that needed some juice yeah oh hmm and this is career ending so <laughs> well i just saw that new movie violent night with santa mm-hmm. yeah. and i like i love the concept of that um but 
I did feel like I'm like the whole thing about Christmas is like family and joy and belief. And it had like that a little bit. But then at, at the end, there were like some real shitheads that were just kind of like, yeah, you're all right, too. And I was like, wait a minute. I feel mm. like we should have mm. talked, talked this out. Got you know? it. Mm. Um, mm. So f- a family should have murdered. Yeah. A little more revenge. Yeah. Togetherness. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Something like that. Honestly. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well. Wait, where are you from? I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. I'll 210 be, Countdown City. I'll be going there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Plug. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> what Plug. dates? January uh, 13th. Sold San out Antonio. already? No. Okay. No, no, no. Buy some, some tickets left. Buy some tickets. Yeah. Are you like a co-host? or? <laughs> I, oh, yeah. He, he wants to do it. He wants to intern your show. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to get up on stage and do five minutes? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Yeah. Um, what do you do for fun? Um, well, honestly, I just got told I need to find a hobby that's not in the entertainment world because mm. really all I Wait, do. Wait, who told you that? Uh, <laughs> I also just graduated, so it was a professor of mine. Got it. Um, she was like, "You need a hobby where you can meet people." Mm. Mm. What do you mm-hmm. think she meant by that? You should buy a Porsche. Well, you met us. Yeah, you hey, gotta you buy like a that? Porsche. Yeah, you gotta you gotta buy a Porsche. Yeah, yeah. Meet some old guys with money. Yeah. Make your movie. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what. What do you like to do? Like video games? Like let's let's figure out your hobby right now. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I know I don't look it, but I used to do uh, martial arts, and I'm trying to get oh, back into that. That's you know? cool. What oh, martial yeah. arts? I did taekwondo, but I think I okay. want to do jujitsu. You should, man. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna meet some deranged people, <laughs> but you no, should. Yeah, I have a friend who did it, and he was like, "Yeah, I did it for a week, and he had a broken pinky." Yeah. And yeah. I was like, "Actually, maybe not." <laughs> yeah, you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on supplements, brother. <laughs> if you get into that jujitsu community, yeah. they're gonna sell you their shit like. Yeah. Crazy. Well, hey, we, we know a bone lady who can set you right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a bone do. lady? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's a whole thing. Her, her name's Tori. Speaking okay, of yeah. Porsches, I saw the funniest bumper sticker on a car the other day. It was so funny. It was not a, it was not a Porsche. It was like a big truck. It was a giant bumper sticker that said P.O.C. And then below it said Porsche Owners Club. Oh, God. <laughs> it said P.O.C. <laughs> like, it looked like they were trying, like, P- person oh. of color. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> I tried to get They're a trying p- to take that? Yeah. <laughs> it was like P.O.C. Porsche Owners Truck Club. guy's trying to take it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, but it was just so funny, like, <laughs> using, retake, taking P.O.C. and changing it to Porsche <laughs> Owners Club. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Um, well, we can let you get back to lunch. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any final thoughts? Uh, about anything in particular? Something in particular. I do. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hobby. Let's, yeah. let's, let's all throw oh, out a hobby. Oh, let's throw out a hobby. Okay, yeah, into. I like that. Mm. Cole? Uh, Nerf guns. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. That's one. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you like board games? I do like board games. There's, like, board game cafes and stuff. And you oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, like, at these cafes, you can, like, put up a little sign that's, like, looking for a, a fourth player or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of play with random people. That might be kind of cool for you. That might be kind of cool. I think you should, like, competitive shooting. <laughs> mm. Is it because I'm from Texas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just, like, get good at, like, that, you know, like, that quick draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's mm. just a weird, unique-ass skill. Yeah. Right. I think you could kind of draw people in with that yeah, if you're, I, like... Yeah, I have the fastest shot in like this local community in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Some people be like, "What?" Yeah, there's no more duels these days. Yeah, right. yeah. you should be That's like true. the last dueler of of, of LA County. Of LA County. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that yeah. could work for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I get a dollar. You get a dollar and a sticker. Wow, thank you guys. And please yeah. don't shoot cool. anyone. Yeah, please don't shoot anyone. Please, please don't yeah. shoot anyone. Yeah. Hey, gun violence is an epidemic in this country. Uh, yes. unless, unless it's a Nerf gun. Unless it's a Nerf gun. Yeah, Nerf guns is a fun hobby. Yeah. 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 Is this guy with you? I keep pointing at him. <laughs> no. no. He's just chilling. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's on yeah. Twitch right now. Actually. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. yeah. yeah. See you later. All right. Thank you guys. Have a fun lunch. I'll try. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. Wow. Wow. Great guest so far. Great Can't guess. believe we met the creator of Captain America, too. I mean, that's just, like, <laughs> yeah. unreal. Wow. Just roaming the streets here in L.A. Uh, there's also, goes. it's so funny, like, he's young. He's, like, 20 years old or yeah. 21. He definitely dresses like he's 50. Like, yeah. young, young people dress like they're 50 now. Yeah. It's just, it's a very Except interesting. Except for Cam. Cam he dresses, dresses, like, he dresses a like a four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Show your arms. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> That outfit is crazy. What's up? <laughs> yeah, he is crazy. <laughs> oh, I think we got this lady right here. Oh, yeah? she going to come? Come on. From oh, Boba? Yeah. I want a Boba. Yeah. Oh, we got a Boba girl. Yeah. 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 You know, it's Cam, it's pretty hard to get gifts for people, isn't it? Why is that? 
because you it's it's hard to curate the perfect thing for the perfect person yeah everyone is so unique and they're all like an individual small brand to me well that's awesome and awesome is the feeling that sparked from the unexpected and that's exactly what the curators from bespoke post have delivered in their new winter lineup of must have box of awesome collections bespoke post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every month we get freaking bespoke post boxes of awesome sent to us every single month mm -hmm. and we are appreciative appreciative and drowning in the joy of the gifts that come we have so many mm -hmm. machetes and knives that can basically cut through anything almost anything uh. i'm giving the gift of bespoke post to many friends i'm gonna gift you a fanny pack that a really nice one that they sent oh but my god i shouldn't have told you that but you know in the past uh I got the crackle from them, mm -hmm. which is amazing. And that's not a word I use lightly at no, all. No matter what you have going on this winter, Box of Awesome has you covered from cozy essentials to travel must-haves and cocktail kits. Box of Awesome has everything you need for winter. They've sent me the Weekender bag, and that, that's a, uh, it's a bag that you can travel with. And it's so nice yeah. and so classy but that I want to show it off in the airport. But bags, you don't travel with bags most people do cam to get started take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories and each box is valued at around 70 dollars but you only pay a fraction of that price plus with each box of awesome you're supporting small business mm -hmm. 90 percent of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand kind of like us yeah. it's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time whoa, whoa, whoa andrew didn't tell me that you said you can't cancel any time. No, that's very wrong. Tall man tells me things at night that scare me. Mm-hmm. Me too. Uh, get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter code OUTSIDE, outside. at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code OUTSIDE, outside. for 20% off your first box, boxofawesome.com, code outside this show is sponsored by better help cam have you ever have you been going through anything tough emotionally or mentally lately that you can say publicly yeah i just tell andrew and the advice he gives me is i don't know if i should say it out loud no probably not unfortunately life doesn't come with a user manual so when it's not working for you it's normal to feel stuck uh, navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure whether it's a career change a new relationship becoming a parent becoming like just stuck to, stuck someone, to or someone or something therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you oh no spoilers Us. no spoilers please i haven't seen either of those of what you or us oh yeah i'm in therapy heck yeah i am i go every freaking wednesday talk to my guy soren about life is he a vampire he's not a vampire why soren is like a vampire's name is it uh, he does only want to meet at night but that's the benefit of online therapy which i use is that you can pretty much choose your own schedule and do it anytime really because mm -hmm. it's 100 percent online it's 100 percent online what? i need someone else to talk to and bounce things off of that's not my friends or family so i'm not exhausting them and oh. draining them like i like Andrew does to us. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with the therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No. no waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash outside. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash outside. Come no worries. In. Oh, Whoa. I love that necklace. Oh, love your outfit. Thank yeah. You. Where are you from? Good. Uh, here now. Oh, okay. I moved here three months ago. From, from where? From uh, Bozeman, Montana. Before that, I was in New York. So I spent the pandemic in Montana. Okay. okay. And so the, that's the, the accent, accent is New York. Is New York yeah, or Bozeman? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, it's <laughs> yeah. endemic. Uh, no, actually, from across the pond in Europe. Oh, Whereabouts okay. in Europe? Uh, so I was raised in Malibu, but been in New York like 20 years, and then Montana for a year and a half, and then here. So it took us. American, it took us well, 10 questions to get to your accent. By the way, <laughs> you, you finally were like, "Okay, I'm from Australia." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It took yeah. a very long time yeah. for you to share that. What are you running from? Yeah, <laughs> probably the Australian government. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to find exceptions out here. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. Just takes you out of context already, doesn't yeah. it? Uh -huh. So when we ask where you're from, you say here, even though you moved yeah. here a month yeah. ago. Mm. Like, 
Okay. <laughs> that's really called being in denial. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's got to be pretty annoying for you because that's probably the first question everyone asks you when they oh first yeah, meet you. Oh, yeah, because right? you sound different no matter how long you've been a place and yeah. no matter yeah, yeah. where you call home or mm-hmm. feels home. You know, if you just look or sound different, then you don't right, right, right. But for right. us, right. you know, we got listeners around the world. We got lots of Australian listeners, so they want to connect with you, you know? <laughs> so they wanted yeah. to know where you were from there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to run. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. run anymore. You're at okay. home. All right. Welcome home. Thank Welcome. you. Yeah. And what's up with that that New York to Bozeman to L.A. pipeline? Why was Bozeman in the middle uh, of that? Because I just had a momentary lapse in life and <laughs> went through an existential crisis as we do by the time so we're in You're like, 30s. let me go to the place where it's... <laughs> it was only a matter of time before I imploded. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me go to Bozeman, the best place to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although they call it Bos Angeles. So oh, do I would they? say there's a lot of people Do they LA, really say that? And that's kind of why you end up in L.A. next. They say Bos Angeles? Yeah, they really do. What, what? about it is yeah. like L.A.? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> there are a lot of Californians there and Montanans genuinely hate on us. Oh, And I call us us now because I feel like yeah, I'm Yeah, that was slick. I like how you did that us. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah they hate on us. <laughs> this is <laughs> insane. Are you a fucking spy? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're very good at blending in. Infiltrating different cultures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I need is a Santa hat right now and I'd fit right in. Hey, yeah. here you go. You can, you can have yeah. mine if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for a little. Just for a little, you know. Just well. to kind of make it work. Okay. What did you move here for? What are you hoping to achieve? Uh, I started a tech company and I can't quite do that from Montana. So I figured I should <laughs> be out here. Mm. Um, I mean, technically, I should be back in New York, honestly, because yeah. I think that would be a better fit for all of my investor base and everything. I have my own network out there, but mm-hmm. I like pushing myself outside my comfort zone. What okay. does the company do? Uh, we're focused on a blockchain platform for corporate social responsibility, and okay. we're launching by April, and we're launching with uh, ABN Bev, which is beer, yeah, which should be right up your alley. <laughs> What does oh. that mean? Um, they're the holding company that owns most of the beer brands we know. Oh, that's what oh, I thought. Okay, it's a be- wait. It's a beer-based cryptocurrency. No, it's not a cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely, isn't you it? You said blockchain. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a beer-based. Are you her friend? Yes, she oh, can join us. Do, do she I, got do me I look my tea. Like I would be anything other. Come sit down. Come yeah, sit down. Join us. Join us. You can wear the hat. <laughs> the hat's getting passed and around that's my like dog. crazy. Oh, that's your dog? Yeah. You brought oh, a dog wow. with you? Beautiful yeah. dog. Wow. Cute Say dog. hi, Onyx. Sexy dog, honestly. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's is, got a, is he a new dog or d- did he travel with you here? He traveled with me. He's been with me since New York. Whoa. I know. He's been in three states now. No he's a- used to no a No accent lunch. on that New York. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. Wait. So you, you, you use the word blockchain, but then you laughed when I said crypto. No. So we're not we're not doing a cryptocurrency uh, only because we can't really have volatility when investing into impacts on the ground. Because if you're going to have uh, price fluctuations on the floor, mm. then you're not going to see the same amount that you thought you committed to an end impact being realized for that value. Right. So we totally. Can't have that. We said all that earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. We were just saying. Yeah. <laughs> we were just saying. Uh, <laughs> through all of those. Noel was talking about. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so what, what's the purpose of the yeah. blockchain? Being so involved? we're working with different brands to help them assert and bring transparency to how they give back to social and environmental causes around the world. Interesting. That's so far, there's no okay, insight finally. into how they allocate money finally. or resources. So, so, yeah. so you're going to hold exactly. Duracell responsible for actually giving the money. Where they're so giving it on the public ledger, and also to be able to see, you know, what the end results have been from giving that money, and who's accountable once the money has been given for the end impact being mm. realized in the world. Seems like corporations would not like this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Why are they signing up for this? Yeah, they're signing up for it because they realize they're not going to be able to relate to consumers going forward if they don't step up the game. Ah, so they have to get better at lying. Yeah, and it's about incremental impact, right? So it's not about getting them to convert overnight the entire organization, Mm -hmm. rather one step at a time. Yeah. So we're looking at it. um, Well, I'll say this: you're one campaign by campaign. You're one of the only tech crypto people who has adequately explained what they're interested in. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And and for most of it, I did not think you were going to succeed. I thought, oh, this is going to be mumbo jumbo. Yeah. That means nothing. That that exclusivity and elitism in vocabulary is part of being in the crypto space. I think it's just a douchey culture around it. Yeah. I mean, it's just very funny to couple social responsibility with blockchain. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I hear you on that. Yeah. Why? 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 Because you typically just don't see those two coincide but yeah but, good, but props to you for yeah. actually making something that works I mean, also this wouldn't have been possible s- earlier without it going towards being proof of stake which is yeah. to say more energy efficient and more viable okay, towards good. actually enabling that impact mm. sure um yeah so it took a while for the technology itself to adapt to be consumer facing and yeah. scalable in the way that we're going to deploy so, it so on a basic level is it almost like these companies buy like 
not the currency, but like maybe credits and whatever this blockchain is, and then they like donate that to things and no, it's just so public? It, or how? Well, yeah, part, partly that, but also in terms of the interaction instances that they have with the with their consumers and with also the impact itself being um, contributed to and also who are the impact stakeholders, the partners that are showing up in that space, all of those aspects are also going to be immutably recorded. So they can't go back in time and fudge it and say, mm. oh no, actually we did work with those people even though we didn't, mm, or we did account for those you know particular communities on the ground when they did Mm. So there's just no going back to retroactively greenwash um, or mm. cover their tracks or just kind of eclipse over the thing ever having happened because they just scrub data off the internet, right. which is also not beneficial. So it's to hold them accountable on all accounts. Mm. Wow, you're going to put corporations' balls in a chastity belt. Yeah, That's I mean, I will say this. Yeah. There have been some big Fortune 500 companies that have flat out said, hell no, yeah, <laughs> like right. our brand heads will run for the hills if you want to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think those that are conscientious and want to pave a better way forward and realize that literally the Gen Z consumer is not going to go for it if they don't step up mm. um, are willing to partake. How do you feel about this B Corp? thing um is I that good okay so i personally don't think you need to have extra labels in order to be able to do the right thing in the world okay. um so i think that should be more intrinsic and implicit to the architecture of an entity i don't think that b corps are the only way you could be doing good in the world you could inherently be showing up in that capacity respective and i know a lot of companies that are doing good in the world without mm. adopting the b corp status okay I'm not too familiar with it, but it's like, are you familiar with it's that? It's a full benefit corporation. Um, you join a membership and it's sort of like belonging to fair trade or any other kind of certification. It gives you parameters and it has to be that your the benefit that you bring to society is part of your mission statement. And it has to be the direct commitment that you make in your profit margins as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Erewhon is a B Corp. That's, oh, that's, okay. That says it on the Erewhon? door, right? And I looked it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you heard that? Ugh. Yeah, I like it there. Hey, if you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay here in LA. You better learn to love Erwan. Yeah, you better learn to love it. You <laughs> gotta <laughs> change that reaction. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever money you're making on your company <laughs> is gonna go to your fucking strawberries. Strong. Okay. Yeah. Right. You really just outed yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said. <laughs> you should have said yum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying for one of those smoothies. <laughs> yeah. And how do you know what 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 she, what she what are, what are both of your names? What's what's your name again? I'm Asher J. Oh, uh, what is it? Asher, Asher J. Asher J. And what's your name? Yvette. Yvette. You work for her? Oh, very cool. So she's uh, in charge of customer relations because I tend to be too honest and make sounds like, ugh, mm. and she covers up those disasters. Oh, right. She's the patchwork. Do you want to step in and do some PR work on what she <laughs> Yeah, you want to really? filter out all this <laughs> crazy shit she's saying? <laughs> <laughs> all these corporations are full of shit. They don't want to sign up. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to pony up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Such a thing as too much we have tw we have twenty listeners, so yeah. these people are really gonna yeah. they're and gonna they're all of your biggest yeah. investors. Yeah. So yeah. Well, Fortune five <sighs> Fortune five hundred. Yeah. Oh, well, we our platform is called Hennessine. H e n o s c e n e. So for those mm. who are out there listening, you know, keep tabs on us. We'll that's be your company. Fun. Yeah. Interesting. And the reason we named it that is because I'm a nerd, and uh, we currently live in the Anthropocene, which is the age of man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I want to bookend that with the Hennessine, which comes from the Greek word henosis, which means Ooh. unity. So mm -hmm. to have a more unified perspective mm -hmm. that's inclusive. Mm. Okay. I mean, Very I personally cool. have always said that we live in the age of women, but whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. That's what I've always said. Wow. I've always said I'm an ally, but I guess not. No, I, yeah. I mean, I think it's huh? it has to go beyond <laughs> that, right? Because I think it's easy to say that it's the next, the, the baton has to be handed over to the next demographic. Yeah, yeah, but no, really, no. at this juncture, it's about all of us I like unity. Up no, I like that. Yeah. That's, yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I was just teasing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Her, her investor cap was not rolling with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you absolutely failed absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. I'm just an ally. Um, yeah. All right. Well. So w long term, what do you hope to achieve to like change corporate r accountability to work with Erwan? I think <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it, or at say least it. At least have say it. There. Admit it. Say it right I now. Mean, that's why I moved to California. Come on, Yvette's right? saying it's good PR. Just yeah. look to camera. We really want to work with Erwan. We really want to work with Erwan. There it you is. Can't even say it with a straight face. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, what is the ultimate goal with what you're doing? I think the ultimate goal has always been, um, I mean, for the last 15 years, I've been working with government organizations, nonprofits, and brands around the world, launching unique campaigns that would help us actually channel resources that are critically needed on the ground in a meaningful way to disrupt at a source level the solutions that need to be deployed. And Dude, the one the thing future. that's been missing <laughs> is, <laughs> the one good. thing that's missing is sort of how people can have access points throughout that journey, right? Mm. And to be able to witness those things actually occurring in the world and to see the cumulative impact of good. Otherwise we see these one of feel good stories that don't actually build towards something that's um, 
holistic yeah. and inclusive mm. of all of the variables that occur in the world. So, so then you see in swim lanes, right? You see like women's rights separately, you don't, mm. and you don't see how that overlaps with the forest conservation initiatives. Mm. And for us to have a holistic picture, we need to be able to map all the impacts at the same time. Yeah. Mm. How many TED Talks have you given? How many TED Talks? Actually, I have given about four now. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew I mean, it. with this accent, I would have had to. That was such TED Talk zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I started to feel like I was learning something, yeah. Yeah. and I wanted to start smoking weed. <laughs> Maybe it should be. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah should be on a couple of shots. It worked out. Be. Yeah, thank you, Noel, for, for waving them over. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah. That's yeah, great. I've seen it. You yeah. wanted to learn a little bit. That was a good yeah. assist. Yeah. yeah. Well. Huh. Well, that's cool. I think that's all cool, and we applaud you for doing the work. Yeah, it sounds, yeah. sounds like you Thank have you. A, a good intentions, which which yeah. is rare. So I think so I'm also a National Geographic explorer, so that's where that ethos comes from. Because oh. I was actually on the front lines, working on the ground for the last tw- ten years. What like, does that mean? Um, so going out to the field in Africa and different countries, um, being on the front lines, looking at what negative impacts look like in regards to um, poaching, trafficking of illicit contraband across borders. Um, looking at demand reduction on those fronts. Are you so like writing or taking pictures or both? So or? I do mass media campaigning for that. Um, so I look at how I can leverage unique brand partnerships with nonprofits to break stories in the markets where those demand sites I knew it exist. could have just been like a photographer. No. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be Make some life crazy, a little harder. Yeah. crazy yeah. ass answer. Yeah. <laughs> Were you ever in like weird or scary situations doing that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you're kind of like you trying to, to tattle, that tattle are, on kind of bad yeah, people. Yeah, you go to areas that are off limits or could... Uh, have potential risks to travel. Do you there. ever have fun? <laughs> 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 that is why yeah, I love oh, okay. fun. Though. Within yeah. the ethical yeah. framework, she does have yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Within my framework, <laughs> I have a lot of fun. You know, hanging out with great white sharks, that's yeah. my idea of fun. Okay. Yeah, if the water side is using recycled water, she'll go yeah, down yeah, it. Yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> <too>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I have a chill day. Wait, yeah. so what were this? Do you have any specific stories of being like on the front lines in these eco terrorist situations? Or I don't know. I like mean, what? Like By the way, we, we, we relate. We're typically on the front lines in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, <laughs> we do a lot of front lines. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so are those yeah, YouTube comments sometimes that are mean? Yeah. We yeah. deal with those. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that can be harrowing. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, the, you know, there have been Heroin times is where good. Yeah. <laughs> heroin's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harrowing. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, so I, I like we we've been to places like in Colombia where you know we were out in the cloud forest working on an initiative to help um, the local economy be structured on ecotourism to divert um, remuneration away from co- cocaine trade mm. towards uh, bird watching, which is surprisingly mm. highly remunerative. Um, what's that? What's that word? Money mean? making. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. And mm. so we were building out a bird watching belt up north. But like literally, we had I think the week after I stayed at the eco preserve where we stayed at. People were held at gunpoint and and robbed and mm. bound. Um, <laughs> so you know you do have to be aware of the results of any of the trips you take on or sign up for because you could get kidnapped. You could, any of those things could happen, and mm. they do send you with armed guards if it's in areas where there is militia presence, which we had um, security detail with us to go to the areas we were going to. Wow. You ever Jeez. have any fun conversations with the armed guards or are they kind yeah, of all business? I, mean, I think all of it is fun because on, honestly, <laughs> you know, if you, it's about risk perception, right? And I think most National Geographic explorers don't understand risk in the same way that the average person would internalize it. Are you it. calling us laymen? <laughs> <laughs> Given his reactions, I'd say so. We're, uh, we're, so we're Yelp explorers. We'll yeah. try new restaurants. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Do, yeah, we'll do all kinds of stuff. Anything on the guide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's up four stars and up. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, legit. Huh. Know, that's, a good, that's a good way to evaluate food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a vegetarian. Yeah, so that's I mean, a whole he's other from thing. California and LA, so I would yeah, expect. Yeah, of course. You'd expect. You'd that, expect. That's, that's a requirement. Yeah. Aren't you? Aren't you from here as well? Now I am. <laughs> yeah. I, I've gone vegan in two months. I've gone Jesus vegan. Jesus Christ! Wow, <laughs> you really morphed to your surroundings. <laughs> I tried to adapt and blend in. Yeah, but I still stand out. Do you travel around the world with her to these places? <laughs> no. No, Yvette no. just she takes fucking Klonopin and tries to forget everything she does. Yeah. How many? How many pets have you adopted? I got two guinea pigs recently because I make bad decisions <laughs> oh. yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, how's like your house starting smell? that crypto company? It's that was a good <laughs> <laughs> like K and P every now yeah. and then because of the guinea's. Yeah, but, you know. Bell, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Hey, cool. Thanks, wow. guy. That was a cool guy. Um, okay. 
I guess we can let you go. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I'm glad you. I answered all your questions. Yeah. 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 I don't know if that I have any others. I think <laughs> I think I maybe just have more than I did or initially yeah, when I sat too, down. A little bit. Yeah. But I have you thought about applying to work for Vice? I think they need <laughs> yeah. 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 newer, interesting stories. But actually we could overlap still. Yeah. Potentially. Based yeah. on based on what we're building out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you find that most places you go you like make new networking opportunities for yourself? Yes. Always. You seem very like extroverted S- and just like smooth or I don't know there's a oh. certain way where you're like know what to say and you're doing your thing oh, suave I don't you. know I think, it's the, I think the accent helps a ton. the accent helps yeah. it totally it, does if you said all this as an American I'd be like please oh, she doesn't sound intelligent <laughs> yeah. at all it's not yeah. even intelligent it's just like <laughs> what, are, what are you really doing right like, what yeah. fucking Asian kids <laughs> do you have <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> There's nothing unique about it. Yeah. No, people actually, s- I think it's a funny thing that having an accent, people actually think you're smarter because this of it or something. And you could say the stupidest thing and get away with it sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I mean, we heard the last 20 minutes, but. Um. <laughs> 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 Too bad they're not reading between the lines of my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm into it. I'm into yeah. it. All right. Um, What's the Instagram? It's at Hennessine and it's also at Earth Eris, H E I R E S S. Earth heiress. Because I wanted to inherit the planet instead of just inheriting. Uh, see, there we go. Oh, no. mm. There it is. There we go. You, just, you, you just told on yourself. You want, to inherit. you want to inherit the planet. <laughs> yes, I do. I mean, we all should, you know, as a whole. Yeah, like, yeah. We should be yeah, yeah. people looking yeah. out as. Jeff as shouldn't own legacy. it all. I should own it all. I'm I should. Check, I should. Check. What does it mean it's to. It's time a woman did, honestly. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. Men have had this ambition their whole lives. Yeah. So I'm going to step in as yeah. a woman. What does it mean to you to inherit the planet? To actually be a good steward of it, you know, mm. and show up for the whole and be whole in how you show up. Mm. 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 Damn, church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, church. a bit of wisdom right there. Yeah. Again, dropped in this accent, so I could just be reading out a fortune cookie fall, you know. Yeah. yeah. Huh. yeah. All right. And what's your, where, what part of LA are you in? Uh, we're in Beverly Hills. Okay. Do you mm. like it over there? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Well, hey, we wish you best of luck with Thank this you business. For <laughs> Thank you for this. You each get a dollar and a sticker. <laughs> yeah. Um, this will come out on social media <laughs> podcast platforms mm-hmm. next week. You yeah. can look us up on everything there. I just hope you live long enough to see your company prosper. Yeah. And you don't me too. take on some crazy experience in Africa and get shot in the leg or some yeah, shit like that. Love your outfit. What is this? Is this, is this a jacket and bag? What is it's this? It's a bag. But it's it goes bag. over her shoulder like a jacket almost. Yeah, that's the coolest it's bag the coolest I've ever bag. seen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Where's it? Where's it from? Yeah, it's Tom Ford. Oh, it's, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we definitely thought it was a village in yeah, Africa. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it was not. I for sure was gonna be like, yeah, I was on some mission, and these ten kids <laughs> no, made no, it no. by hand. <laughs> She's like, no, 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 no. no. I, I make money. Background in New York originally. She's yeah. like, no, I, I took. All, take me out of it. I right. took all the money Durso was gonna give to the environment. <laughs> 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 Oh, but that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. No, yeah. you, got, you gotta have. It's good to see you humanized a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you, you yeah. still you still value yourself a yes, little bit more. Yes, and sense yeah. of style. That's yeah. good. That's important. Yeah. 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 Are you gonna use your watch to go back to the future now? <laughs> 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 yeah. <that's laughs> cool. Yeah, I know. It's got a fucking laser gun in it. What is that watch? <laughs> She can use that to go punch Hitler in the nuts. <laughs> Show this watch. The watch is honestly the biggest watch I've ever seen. Size matters, guys. Yeah. Size matters. Well. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys for spending some time with us. Thank yeah. you, guys. Be well. That's the humanitarian message, guys. Size matters. <laughs> Size matters. <laughs> Don't have a little penis. <laughs> At the end of the day, the corporate accountability woman said size matters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's her final thought. She's going to inherit the planet and rid of anyone with, with a small penis. Tiny meat. Da- dude, that was crazy. <laughs> I for sure thought she was just going to be saying some bullshit. She kind of was yeah, half of it. I, I still don't understand anything she said. I understand. I understand it. It's basically like she's using technology to have corporations prove that they donate exactly. their money. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Because the whole thing with crypt- crypto, like the thing that makes it unique is mm-hmm. that it's public where all the money goes. Mm. Like it's almost like if every Venmo transaction was public, sure, that's sure, kind sure, of crypto sure. in a weird yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. So they're c- trying to do that for corporations, Got which it. I think is cool. Yeah. I hear you where it's like, why would they sign on to this? Like, wh- yeah. why would anyone, you know, push that needle in that direction? I think it's just crazy. She does that. She can afford Tom Ford. Like what's <laughs> really <laughs> fucking going on? She said she worked in fashion before. Yeah. yeah, true, maybe. True, true, yeah. yeah but yeah, I mean, you know, these startup people, who knows? Um, TMG, you guys have a podcast, YouTube channel. You do your own YouTube stuff. Yeah. You, you guys are all familiar. We, we said last week's episode that you were going to be on, and we got more comments than ever that people are excited oh, to have it. you on. Well, so. 
yeah, yeah. appreciate you guys and uh, go see oh. him live he's come see me on tour noel miller live fantastic i got 62 yeah. cities man pull up he's a fantastic up, dude you want to sit down no there's no time oh <laughs> Ben Khan just texted me asking for my email. Oh, saying the shit. producer is going to email us. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you guys are going to do the show. Go on. Yeah. You should. You should. You yeah. should. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be should investing like mind, so. crazy with them. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, let's make Alina do Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, Al- Alina will be there in Arkansas. <laughs> you guys know Noel. Check out all his stuff. Go yeah. see him on tour. Really fantastic live performer. Thank and um, here's a dollar and a sticker for oh, you dude. as we give Too everyone. Kind. Too kind. And I'll give you a little pin, too, and you can give it to Alina and tell her. You know, tell her. You got um, booked. Yeah, tell her you got booked. You're yeah, booked. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> booked. This has been um, rules. Thanks for sitting down with us, man. Of We've been wanting so. to get you on for years. Yeah. And then yeah. the pandemic happened, and then now no, we're finally sick. making it work. I've loved you guys' show since man. forever. I've always thank thought this was like you. the coolest idea We ever. always and appreciate that and yeah. love your outfit. It's and, genius. Um, oh, thanks, dude. Everything's yeah. working out. I love your outfit, Cole. Dude, stop. You hit me at that game, mate, man. Come on. Come on. Happy holidays, everyone. Have a great holiday time. See you. We hope it rocks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, uh, look at my dick. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we're watching that episode reminded me of what life was like before I had COVID for the second time. Oh, really? Maybe third time, honestly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably catch it on the plane to Florida or in Florida. No, I feel like it was long. You didn't have it that long ago. I had it so long ago. I had it in August. That's pretty recent. I guess this just might be a thing you do every year now for me. Hmm, a tradition. Honestly, it is the best time of the year to get it. I have, like, I mean, I have a little bit of work stuff to do this week, but I'm pretty free. I had to cancel one stand-up show. Like, it's pretty chill overall. Yeah, and it was a stand-up show I booked you for in my living room. Right, which I still would like to do if you'd have me. No. All right. Um, well, thanks, you do, everyone. You do do private events, though, right? Oh, I definitely do private events. Like, people end up, like, random people can book you, and it's just, like, a one-on-one show? Wait, ask me if I do private events again? You do private events, right? Yeah, they'll, it's for the watchers. What? I don't know. I did something with my face. It was awesome. Oh. Okay. <laughs> my face that is covered with a mask. God, I'm sick of this liberal diaper I have on my face. Yeah, I mean, you have to wear that till your COVID's gone, right? Yeah, I've been wearing it in the shower. It sucks. Mm. Um, honestly, I'm so thankful that I don't feel as sick as I did last year because I was worried about it. But anyway, how are you? I feel so good, dude. Nice. I feel like my health is, I think, better than it's ever been. You said earlier it was goaded with the sauce, right? It was what? Goaded with the sauce? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's what my doctor wrote on my chart. <laughs> on your what? On my chart. <laughs> that was just your little labs got back. It just said his blood is goaded with the sauce. Mm-hmm. It is the sauce, actually. Yeah, my blood is the sauce. All right, everyone. Um... Thanks again for checking out our show. Uh, Happy holidays. Happy holidays, yeah. Thank you for a lovely year. Whatever you celebrate, happy holidays, have fun. We'll see you on Patreon. And then for all you guys who don't want to support us, January 25th. Bye. What's the best gift you've ever received? Some head. <laughs>